BPCL came up with their numbers just a while back. The chairman and managing director, S. Vardarajan, is joining in on the phone line right now. Mr. Vardarajan, thanks so much for taking this call. Please take us to the key highlights because what I understand is net profit is actually down uh, around 15 odd percent, but the total income seen a rise of around 13 percent odd or so. Can you take us to the key highlights of the quarter, sir? Yeah. I think during the quarter, the refinery throughput was almost around uh, 6.05 million tons, uh, and it was similar to what we did last year. However, the GRMs were far better. It was almost at $6.63 a barrel uh, as compared to $6 a barrel during the corresponding quarter last year. And for the full year, we did a GRM of almost around $4.33 uh, a barrel. As far as market sales is concerned, the overall sales growth was almost around 3.39% during the quarter. Uh, for the full year, we crossed 34 million tons uh, for the first time as domestic sales. Uh, however, the profits, uh, yes, during the quarter has come down on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. But however, I think the right way to look at the numbers for profits would be for the full year because of the subsidy compensations uh, which comes in at uh, different points in time. And we had absorbed almost around 4,000 crores of subsidy for the first nine months. So if you were to take for the full year, we have a subsidy compensation of almost around 98.5%. The total subsidy for the year was almost around 34,463 crores, of which uh, we got almost 45% from the upstream and 53% from the government. So we absorbed almost around 500 crores compared to 249 crores last year. And after this absorption, we have a full year profit of almost around 4,061 crores. Uh, which compared to 2643 crores of the previous year shows more than a 50% increase year on year. Mm. You know, th that's really been the key talking point in terms of the kind of way the subsidy could actually pan out. Going forward from here, sir, what's, what's, what are the expectations as we talk about a new fiscal, as we talk about the new, new outlook in this fiscal itself? What, what, are there any numbers that you're working with internally in terms of a growth, uh, growth percentage target or even on the subsidy front? What, what are your expectations? Uh, first, uh, as far as the GRMs are concerned, very clearly we are looking at GRMs uh, very close to where they were uh, over the last uh, three to four quarters. Uh, as far as the market sales are concerned, yes, this year the overall industry growth has been quite low at less than 1%. Of course, BPC had done almost around 2% growth over the 12-month period. Uh, but sales are picking up. I think uh, gasoline sales have been quite good. Diesel has been slightly lower. ATS sales has been quite good. So I would presume that the growth uh, should come back as part of the larger uh, economic growth over the next uh, 12 months. And, uh, yeah, I think hopefully we should see much better growth numbers. As far as subsidy is concerned, we currently have still a subsidy on diesel of almost around 4, 4, point, uh, uh, 4 rupees 20 paise and odd. And if we were to go through the uh, process of increases which we have been doing since January 2013, I think over the next six to eight months, we should be probably out of the diesel subsidy. And that would still leave just kerosene and LPG as part of the subsidy package. Uh, so one of the clear excitement from the analyst community for BPCL has been the, the, uh, the, the fact that we got into ENP some time back. A any updates that you can share with us right now and that you would probably be looking at as key developments in FI15 from the ENP standpoint? Well, as far as the ENP is concerned, I think uh, uh, the... Activities are going on currently both in Mozambique and Brazil. We have, we have major discoveries. Uh, uh, the uh, appraisal activity as well as uh, the various uh, uh, final investment decision steps are being taken for Mozambique. And hopefully by the end of this year, we are hoping to reach the FID for getting into the uh, investments. As far as Brazil is concerned, once again, a lot of activity is planned for the current year, both as uh, appraisal and uh, uh, initial exploration uh, wells which are to be taken up. Uh, I think there's already been an upgrade as far as the, the recoverable resources in Mozambique is concerned. So we should see uh, more of these uh, action going forward as far as the upstream is concerned.